uh, and these two are designed to help you uh, kind of see what tasks uh, you have to do immediately. This is actually all connected to the different courses that we have and this is where most of this will happen. Hey there and welcome back to the Notion for Students video series. My name is Janosz and in this series we're building a complete organizational system for college students in Notion. And um, this whole series revolves around a set of templates that I have created, uh, which are available for free in the description down below, uh, including yeah, templates for courses, um, for taking notes, uh, for different kinds of notes. Uh, it, it includes a grade calculator and uh, much, much more. If you want to follow along with the course, I recommend you download these templates now if you haven't done it already. Uh, and also check out the last video in the uh, this series uh, because we covered things like how you can take notes or write assignments in Notion in that one. Uh, today we're going to cover how you can actually manage your tasks and how you can keep track of the things that are happening, the events, uh, things like exams, uh, assignments that you have to hand in and uh, your classes all within Notion. Yeah, so let's get started right away. Uh, we are here on our College OS uh, front page again, um, and this is where most of this will happen. Uh, because we have got the College Manager here, uh, as I uh, introduced in the first video, this is pretty much the database that runs all of the tasks and events in inside of uh, the College OS system. Now, as you see right here, we have got uh, both a today and a tomorrow view. Uh, what this actually does is, it, as I uh, introduced earlier, it's just a view of the College Manager and it is set up to filter out only the tasks that are due today um, and also only the tasks that haven't been done yet. Um, and this is why these two tasks show up because if you uh, go down to this calendar view, you see that they have been assigned to the current date. Um, so now if I add in another task, uh, another task like uh, task three in our example, you see it appears up here, but also you'll see it appears down here because this again uh, is filtered for today and today is the 16th. So whatever you add in uh, in here will be added to the current day in uh, this calendar view as well. Um, same for the tomorrow view. This is just set up using another filter which uh, sets the date to tomorrow. Uh, and these two are designed to help you uh, kind of see what tasks uh, you have to do immediately. So what things are uh, like important to you right now, uh, either today or tomorrow. Um, so that you can get, get like a nice overview of your daily to-dos, your daily tasks uh, as a college student. Now down here is the uh, big calendar view, uh, which is meant to be more of a complete overview of everything that you have to do. Um, so I've just added in a bit of demo data right here as well. Um, but this is pretty much what you can use to organize uh, your entire month. So you can add in like when you have which exam, uh, when you have which of your classes, um, so that every time you want to do something for college, uh, you can just log into your Notion account, go to your uh, College OS dashboard and see everything that is going on in your college life. Now, a workflow that I think works well for a lot of people is to actually plan out the, these things like a week in, in, in advance. So uh, like each week uh, end, like on each Sunday, uh, just go in and like add in all of your uh, assignments, all of your tasks, everything that you have to do for the following week. Uh, so that when you get back uh, on Monday, uh, you have everything already, already organized uh, and everything looking good. That being said, let's check out another nice feature that we have implemented in here. Um, so if we add in a new task, we'll just use this untitled one I just created. Um, if we add in a new task or a new event, pretty much, uh, we have the choice to uh, select a template. Uh, and these have been predefined by me. If you don't know what templates are, check out the last video because we talked about how they work. Um, but pretty much what this does is um, for each of these uh, different types, it assigns a different icon. So I can really like see better what type of event I'm actually having. And I could also go in and add in additional information to these templates. But uh, for now, it's just the icon. And so if I choose event uh, and choose the exam event, then this icon is added and I can say like 
um, I've got an, a maths exam, for example. Um, and if I now uh, go out of that, I see this is, uh, yeah, it says math exam and it gets assigned the exam category. And um, now this also pops up in my tomorrow view. And up here you see why this could be useful because uh, it, you can like really uh, distinguish between these different types of um, events. Um, one being the uh, exam right here, uh, this one being a task and over here this one being a class that you have to take. Um, which you could also add the actual times to. So this uh, is another feature that you have. Uh, this you could, it can be done easily in Notion. If you go on this class and go on the date, uh, we could say include time, and then we could say, well, this class is, um, we could also say an end date. Let's say this class is from, uh, let's say it's from 11 a.m. to like 1 p.m. maybe. I think that might work like this. And now you see uh, when this class actually is happening. Now, as before with the notes database, this is actually all connected to the different courses that we have. Um, so if we go to our courses database uh, and select a course, let's go with the theoretic computer science again, uh, you can see this, uh, this is added in here as well. So um, we have these uh, embedded into all of these pages. And uh, what this means is, if you add in a task in here, it will automatically be assigned to this course as well. So you'll see all the tasks you have to do for an individual course uh, in that course's uh, dashboard, um, which which is quite nice because it uh, it just allows you to uh, yeah to to filter out ta tasks for a specific course. Uh, maybe you've got a uh, an assignment or an exam upcoming, and then you can see all the things that you have. Uh, have to do for that course, for that exam, um, for the specific course as well. All right, um, what this also means is that whenever you add in a task in here, um, it will not show up in all, any of the other uh, courses that you have. And um, on the other hand, what this also means is that if you go back to the College OS uh, starting page, um, Whenever you add a task in here, it's uh, recommended to actually uh, go in here and then add in a course. So uh, we could say we want this task three to be uh, assigned to the theoretic computer science as well, uh, because otherwise these tasks will not appear uh, in the individual courses. And now if we go back in here, we'll see that now this time, uh, this task three is actually also showing up in here. All right, I hope this was understandable. Uh, this is pretty much how you can easily manage your tasks, exams, classes, and everything pretty much that's going on in your college uh, inside of Notion. Uh, so it's pretty much like a two-in-one calendar and to-do list application. Just one more thing that I want you uh, that I want you to know about the college manager is that you can actually set up reminders for these tasks and events. So uh, you can go in here and click on remind and then you can say you want to be reminded on the day of the event, uh, one day before that or so on so that you don't forget something that's really important. Other than that, uh, we're at the end of this video. I hope it was understandable to you. Um, and if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, I will gladly answer them. Um, in the comments down below and uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like uh, so consider subscribing to the channel I hope I'll see you in the next part of the series. Take care and bye